uh, inspiration to get into electronics came from the Raspberry Pi. Uh, essentially, when I was about 12 years old, I had no interest in computers or computer science, but I saw this little article in a, in a magazine uh, about this brand new credit card sized computer that was going to revolutionize the world, and I thought that looked pretty cool. And so I uh, did some research. The Pi came out in 2012. I didn't actually get one in February when it was launched, but a couple months later I managed to get my hands on one. And then sort of my interest uh, in electronics and computer science has blossomed since then. After I got interested in electronics uh, in, in August of 2012 actually, I decided to set up a YouTube channel um, based on the Raspberry Pi to teach people about computer science through, through the credit card size computer. And um, so that was called the Raspberry Pi Guy. And so for the last four, four years, coming up to five years, relatively soon. Um, I've created online video content and tutorials to help people uh, with Raspberry Pi to get interested in computer science and so that I've taken that channel from you know zero views to coming up to about five million views now. So that's probably my proudest uh, achievement in the electronics sector. One of the problems that I've come across uh, sort of doing stuff with Raspberry Pi is one of the projects that I made. I made a electric skateboard out of a Raspberry Pi um, and, and so that required you know sticking a Raspberry Pi into the bottom of a board with a motor and battery, etc. And so one of the main problems I came across there was uh, essentially how do you propel me as like a six foot guy um, with you know a series of motors and sort of everything from battery calculations to um, object orientated coding really. I'm currently a, a student at uh, a sixth form student. I'm sort of finishing my last uh, year of A levels uh, where I'm doing maths, further maths, physics, and computer science. Um, it's pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> um, and then after that, I'm, I'm certainly hoping to go to university to, to, to study potentially computer science. Uh, not quite decided yet. When you ask a student that question, it sort of triggers an existential crisis. So I, I, I'm working it out. But in, in the short term, definitely university. Uh, what course exactly? I'm not quite sure. Um, and then in the future, who knows? I, I really love the sort of intersection between computers, computer science, and sort of software, and also hardware. So. Nearly all of, the, all of the projects that I've really enjoyed have been through that intersection. So using Raspberry Pis, uh, the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins, Arduinos and things. And so the reason I love it is essentially you can make real world things that are, are pretty cool, have, have real world impacts. And uh, then through my YouTube channel, I get to show them off to um, thousands of people, which is pretty cool.